the Toronto Argonauts for stepping aside from pro football to do a little college football with the second annual International Bowl. It's the Mid-American Conference against the Big East as Ball State will take on Rutgers. And welcome inside, everyone. We decided with a game in Canada, we had to use a Canadian crew. John Saunders here, born and raised here in Toronto. We've got Jesse Palmer, born in Toronto, raised in Ottawa. Stacy Dales is on the sidelines. She, of course, was born in Cottage Country up in Collingwood, and we've got a six-time MVP of the Canadian Football League in Doug Flutie. I'm just honorary. I'm just hanging out with a bunch of hockey pucks, and I'm the honoree here. Well, the guy who is definitely going to be an honoree is Ray Rice running the football for Rutgers. He is. Ball State's defense comes into this game ranked 99th against the run. They're giving almost 200 yards up a game, and that means they're going to get a heavy dose of the second team All-American, Ray Rice. He can hurt you running inside, running outside. He's played more of a role in the passing game this year and he runs behind an offensive line that is much bigger and stronger than Ball State's defensive line so expect Rutgers to force feed Ray Rice the football in today's game. Let's look at Greg Schiano seventh year and what a job he has done 25 and 12 in the last three seasons including 11 and 2 a year ago. Yeah, a little disappointed this year with the 7-5 and five outcome and being in a position where they wanted to make a run for the Big East and, and get in the big bowls and all and get, take a BCS shot. Didn't quite get there this he year. He told us this year, this year has really been a disjointed season. A lot of things have been out of their control. They had a serious injury to a quarterback early in the season that they've had to struggle through all year long. But this is a chance to really right the ship in the last game of the season. And we are underway. Mason Robinson with it. The season open briefly, but it's shut down, and he is shut down inside the 30. There's a look at Mike Teal, who's been injured a lot of the years, has not been able to practice a lot of this season, but still has been very effective. Well, in the third week of the season against Norfolk State, he suffered a thumb injury to his throwing hand at the end of that football game, and it stayed with him over the entire course of the season. It was an injury that really kept him from practicing more than one time a week throughout the regular uh, year. Rice in the backfield. The lone back. Two split to the left. Rice takes the handoff, dances outside, across the 30, across the 35, 40, up to the 50 before he's pushed out of bounds. 22 yards on the carry for Ray Rice. Here's what we're getting, the steady dose of Ray Rice, and boys, he's going to have over 200 yards rushing today. Watch him catch the corner here. He bounces it back on the cutback, and right there, losing containment. I, it just it can't let that happen. You're in a position to make the play coming outside in. You cannot lose containment. Ray Rice is going to have a field day running the football today. That was Eddie Burke losing the contain. The quickness to get to the outside after the original hole was shut down but was what's so impressive. Rice again this time is cut down at the 50. Just a two-yard game. The Rutgers offense looks like this, and, of course, Teal the quarterback, but Ray Rice is the guy and we got 2,000 yard receivers in Underwood of Britain. Now on offensive line Sosa and Zuta the seniors are the anchors but you know with Ray Rice running the football that is a terrific offensive line straight across the board. Again Rice in the backfield. This time Teal's looking to pass his man inside the 40-yard line, Kenny Britt with the reception. Ball State defense looks like this, and this is the teams are going to try and shut down Ray Rice and, and Teal, Mike Teal rather, Crawford, the sophomore at the defensive end will apply the pressure. Ryan Haynes, a junior who's had a terrific season. In the linebacking core, and as you can see in the defensive backfield, they're going to have to try and stay with a couple of thousand yard wide receivers for Rutgers. Rice again. This time he's shut down after a gain of maybe two. 
Really a big challenge today for this Ball State defense, particularly the defensive line, is going to be playing against a much more physical offensive line. If you look per man, Rutgers averages six foot five, 308 yards up front versus Ball State's average of 6'2", 267. So Ball State is giving up almost 41 pounds a man on that line of scrimmage, and that's going to be a lot to overcome if they want to slow down this running game for Rutgers. Teal barking out the signals. This time he's going to pass again. He's looking deep across the middle, but it's short. Had a man open there, Doug. Yeah, they had Underwood running up through the seam up front. Right away, there's an adjustment by Ball State. They went to an eight-man front. They jumped down to a double eagle. We call the bear front, whatever. But they got impressed coverage on the outside. Going to challenge the receivers a little more and get, get more people in the box to help defend the run. You're absolutely right. If Ball State's defense decides they want to take this run away, that's going to put them in a lot of man-to-man -man situations on the outside. And, John, you mentioned it earlier, two 1,000-yard receivers on the side of Rutgers. That's a mismatch problem for Ball State on that aspect as well. And Teal's hand is healthy now. I mean, he can throw the football now. He missed that throw, but he can let it, he can let it rip now. Out of the shotgun this time for Teal. And again, he's going deep. He's got a man wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Rutgers. Tim Brown with the reception. 37-yard touchdown toss. Well, Doug, Mike Teal's hand looked pretty good on that pass, didn't it? He just let that one out in front. No free safety in the middle of the field. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Impossible to cover a post route. Man-to-man -man with no help. This is really the start that Rutgers wants to get off to. It's third and long. They're in the gun, and Tim Brown is just going to run a post route and run right by B.J. Hill on the outside. Gets under the ball nicely, cradles it in. Six-nothing Rutgers early. And the judge, Jeremy Ito, all-time leading scorer in Rutgers history, knocks it through in a 7-0 lead. Very impressive opening drive by the Scarlet Knights. Black one. Where? Black one. Where? Black one. Oh, where? The Volkswagen Tiguan. The only compact SUV with a turbocharged engine standard. Black one. Where? There. Lease the 2010 Tiguan for just $269 a month. It's a whole new Volkswagen and a whole new game. Just tell me right now, like first impression, would you marry me? There's so many different things about me that I do not like. Let's talk about something fun. How about magic? <laughs> Peanuts. I like cashews. Any site can get you to a first date. But with eHarmony, those dates can be better. You get to choose from people matched with you based on deep compatibility. And that means something more meaningful from the first date onward. So try eHarmony.com today and review all your compatible matches free. Your Tuesdays may be crazy, but dinner doesn't have to be. Any family-sized Pizza Hut Tuscani pasta is just $10. With over three pounds of pasta, including breadsticks, that's enough for the whole family. Only on Tuesdays and only at your Pizza Hut. I'm Robert Shapiro. Over a million people have discovered how easy it is to use LegalZoom for important legal documents. So start your business, protect your family, launch your dreams. At LegalZoom.com, we put the law on your side. Your 225-pound bench press is measured in millimeters, not reps. Your idea of two-a-days is your commute to and from work. And the last team you start on was your freshman football team. And starred might be too strong of a word. But now, the NFL Draft is on ESPN in primetime this Thursday. And you've got a chance to get drafted by Coors Light. Yes, you. Text Coors to 4 Cold, and you could win prizes including a trip to the 2011 NFL Draft and two 2010 season tickets to your favorite team. A defining moment in South Africa's history wasn't an uprising or a coup. It was the formation of a soccer league during apartheid by political prisoners who'd lost their freedom but found hope in a game they loved. The same men who would go on to govern the new South Africa and then repay the game by inviting the world to come and play it with them. The 2010 FIFA World Cup on ESPN. Teal again. Drops back. This time he's passing. Got a little pass rush, but steps up ahead of it. And a terrific pass to Taekwon Underwood. 
A lot of first and second down, eight-man front type of looks from Ball State to try to commit and stop that run, and it's allowing Rutgers to throw the ball up the field, even though this time it's his own. Absolutely, and, and Tyquan Underwood playing in the slot. They're just going to run a cross pattern. We used to call it a fork route, where they just intersect each other. Mike Thiel doing a nice job just laying the football out in front, allowing his receiver to make the play and get both feet in, be, feet, feet in bounds. It's amazing. Ball State has not seen an offense that has the skill players that Rutgers had at running back and at wide receiver. There's a lot of mismatch issues right now. And again, another first and ten. This time handed off to Rice again. A little hesitation. Bounces it outside. And he reached the 30 before he was cut down. About three. Nip gets to him. But you want to talk about that Mike Teal has some good targets. It's pretty good when you got a couple of guys that combined for over 2,000 yards. Well, it's incredible. It's only the 26th time it's ever happened in college football, but it's the first time it's ever happened in the Big East. When you consider there's four teams this year that have two receivers of over 1,000 yards, and they're passing juggernaut schools, the Texas Techs, Tulsa, Hawaii, and Rutgers is the fourth. Teal again, and... Again, this time he's going to hand it off to Rice. This time Rice busts through the hole and then shows his quickness to get it down to the 20. Burke finally brings him down, but not before Rice had done the damage. 12 yards on a pickup. Again, this is the key to Rutgers' offense, is running the football and coming off the O-line and blowing people off the ball. Rice sees the cutback lane and turns it north to south. Hearing from the other side. Just vision. Vision cutting back. He's strong, runs physical, physically, I should say. Rutgers in trips to the red zone this year have scored 24 touchdowns and 46 trips. Rice again gets outside, cuts back. Just great footwork. <laughs> They've been making a living so far this football game, running to the right side behind big stud offensive linemen. You're going to see right guard Anthony Davis and right tackle Jeremy Zuta just blowing their guys off the ball. And look at the patience of Ray Rice, knowing how to set up his blocks. He gets the edge, turns it north. Tyquan Underwood, just a little shove move, get back inside and get more positive yards. Offensive coordinators love running backs who can always get, they don't run out of bounds, they get more yards moving forward. Rice is just going to power his way into the end zone. There was little question there about what the play call was going to be. You know, it's, this offensive line is anchored by three seniors, Sosa, Blazik, and Zuda. And these guys are going to be graduating and moving on. And I'll tell you what, Ray Rice has had a phenomenal career running behind these guys. And you look at the job right guard Anthony Davis does. He's a true freshman, 6'6", 350 pounds. He turned 18 this past October. A man-child, monster. Ito again for the extra point. He's one of the fan favorites of Rutgers. I saw his jersey more than Ray Wright. Yeah, Davis was 17 when he started his college career, turned 18 this year. He's going against Brandon Crawford, 31-year-old sophomore. And a Sporting News All-American as well for Davis. Ray Rice, well on his way to another 100-yard game. It would be eight straight. It's like a blast of hydration to your face. New Chic Hydro. The water-activated gel that hydrates your skin as you shave and lasts up to twice as long as ordinary strips. While five blades with skin guards smooth the skin to reduce irritation. It's the best shave for your skin. The new Chic Hydro for your skin. Ball in my hand. All I gotta do is just raise up and shoot. That's my focus. All I gotta do is shoot the shot the same way. You just want to maintain focus. You have to execute every night. 48 minutes. All I gotta do is focus. Everything you do feels like the right thing. Feels like the right move. That's my focus. The NBA playoffs on ESPN continue Friday with a trio of crucial game three. If your mortgage interest rate is higher than 4.99%, Right now is a great time to call Quicken Loans. At Quicken Loans, we're obsessed with finding a better way for you to get a home loan. Right now, we've got great offers like this. 
The rate on a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage is near 4.99%, APR 5.187%. Many experts, including economists with the federal government, believe that these historically low rates will continue to rise. And that means the time to lock in at today's low rates is now. The good news is that it's not too late to refinance with Quicken Loans. Take advantage of a historically low rate of around 4.99%, APR 5.187%, and pay less each month on a new 30-year fixed-rate mortgage. We can help you make the most of today's opportunities. And that's why I love, I love, I love being a home loan expert. Ito again ready to kick off. And it's going to be a short one again. Fielded at the 11 by Dante Love. A little reverse. B.J. Hill gets it on the reverse and he has some space. Down the sidelines before he's finally hauled down by McCarthy. Dante Love, your big play guy, kickoff returns, punt returns, hit screens, reverses. Get the ball in his hands. Nope, we're going to pitch it and run the reverse. And pitching it to B.J. Hill, who's now the starting cornerback, but for the last two seasons played running back. And you see the wide open running ability in the open field, little shake and bake, and now giving his team great field position because they have to score points here on this drive. Yeah, they needed a big play there. They needed it. They got a chance here. Now they got to finish this off, stick it in the end zone. Nate Davis can make plays, throwing a football, get this offense cranking. Clancy in the backfield. Davis out of the shotgun. The Ball State fans are starting to get vocal. Quick toss right across the middle. It's going to be a big gainer. Down to the 20 is Darius Hill hauled it in. The Mackey Award finalist. 22 career touchdowns for Darius Hill. Well, he's a big target at six foot six, and right now, Ball State happy just trying to throw these crossing routes. Rutgers starting to bring more pressure. There's a lot of man-to-man -man situations in the secondary, and Darius Hill, he's a tight end, but he plays like a wide receiver. Six foot six and can run. You saw it on that play there. Davis just looks so calm as he just a little toss across the middle, right on the man, and just steps up. That pass was a little bit too deep. You're saying he looks calm in the pocket, and, and like Jesse said, they brought it off the edge, they were bringing pressure, very quiet feet. He's just sitting there under control, allows the, uh, the receiver, Hill, come underneath, dumps it over the middle. He's relaxed in the pocket. And the amazing thing to me, Doug, is watching the velocity on his ball come out, wearing those gloves, not using the laces. I am shocked he can spin it as well as he does and throw it as hard as he does. Davis is going to get hauled down as the entire defensive line got in there. Malast and Rinkhart get the sack. Let's go down to Stacy Dales. Well, guys, one of the reasons that Nate Davis is so comfortable playing in the pocket is because he grew up playing shotgun only, and that's also a reason he wears those gloves. When he jumped into this Ball State program, as you guys know, he could not handle a snap under center. He told me this week that he dropped every single ball that he took under center. That's why he's put those gloves on, guys, and that's why he's so comfortable in that shotgun. Ball State just one of three on third down conversions. They got a long one to go here, 20 yards to get a first. Davis is chased back to almost to the 50 and then just has to get rid of it. Did a nice job of just throwing the ball away. But going back to the gloves, I have small hands as well, and you're taking snaps from center, and it's like hitting a, hitting a bullseye. And with the gloves on, you can take one-handed snaps and thing just sticks to your hand. Here again, Rutgers just bringing the pressure, trying to set up a screen. The screen was covered, does a good job of throwing a football away. It's a really hard defense to identify if you're a quarterback because guys are standing up, guys are getting in three-point stances, they're moving around. It's tough to identify who to block, and you saw there Brandon Rinkhart get in for the pressure. Ian McGarvey for the field goal. Bad snap. Got it down, and he was able to nail it through a sort of a line drive. It's a great kick with the ball slipping and falling to the ground. The holder gets the ball up there, and he 
basically one step. I'm not so sure he didn't kick that with the laces either. It didn't look necessarily the laces got out. Justice did a great job. Got a quarterback throwing the ball without the laces. We got a kicker kicking kick it with the laces. Hey, we're just doing it all wrong. Laces out, Finkel. <laughs> <laughs> nice job of concentration. Nice stroke. Stroke it through. They had to get points on that drive. They did. Successful drive for Ball State. See, see Ray Finkel would have missed that because the laces were not out. Those are for your Peck Detective fans. <laughs> IRS problems? Associated Tax Relief can help you. What you're about to see and hear is real. Associated Tax Relief got me a settlement of $500. This company really does what they say they're going to do. We owed the IRS over $135,000. All we did was hire the right people to work for us. Associated Tax saved us $99,000. Associated Tax Relief has helped taxpayers settle their tax debt for less than what they owed. We owed the IRS over $82,000 in back taxes. Associated Tax Relief's attorney was a former IRS agent who knew what to do. His hard work settled our tax debt for only $4,600. Thousands of taxpayers across the nation have put their trust in Associated Tax Relief. I owed nearly $115,000 and needed help fast. Associated Tax settled my tax debt for way less than what I owed. They saved me over $93,000. Yes, you can solve your IRS problems, and yes, we can help you. For a free consultation, call 888-775-9482 now. Attention all homeowners, do you want help today? Are you having difficulty making your mortgage payments? Do you have an adjustable rate set to adjust to a new rate? Do you want to lower your mortgage payments to an amount you can afford? If you answered yes to any of these questions, call the Loan Modification Help Hotline now. We may be able to cut your mortgage payment in half and help to reduce your interest payment to as low as 1%. Find out what we can do for you today. The call is free. The consultation is free. We were so worried about losing our home. Loan modification helped us to avoid foreclosure. Glad I made the call. Homeowners, do not struggle another minute. Call the Loan Modification Help Hotline toll-free. Discover how much we can reduce your mortgage payment. Act now. We may be able to cut your mortgage payment in half and help to reduce your interest payment to as low as 1%. Call now for a free consultation. Call 1-800-230-3658. Well, Trey Bice not only got up, but he was letting the Rutgers guys know it. I mean, he got smoked, and he's still talking. He's saying, when I get out of the penalty box, I'm coming back in the third period. I'm going to... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. But his head not only gets oh. snapped back, he gets snapped back from the waist. Mm. Well, yeah. Kenny Britt, 6'4", nice tall guy. I don't know if you get a little lower there to make that hit or if that's an illegal hit hitting him in the head or not. That's that concussion test they're showing right there. It's a player. That's not fun. Just tossed off to Rice. But he just had it on his fingertips and couldn't pull it in. Ball just a touch out in front, making him lean to make the catch. If he catches that in stride, he can crease that and have a good game. You know, it's funny. R Rutgers has done a, a better job this year of really getting Ray Rice involved in the pass game. He only had 12 catches his first two seasons. And this year alone, he's almost doubled that total with 23 receptions on the year so far, finding ways to get him the football. Mike Teal just needs to take a little bit more off that ball, hit him right in the face mask, let him get north. Second down and 10. Teal back, fakes a handoff to Rice, and again wants to go deep. And this one was tipped into double coverage. It was intended for Tim Brown. But Marcus McClure got his hand on the ball, but again, it was into double coverage. You know, you're looking for chances for interceptions there. They came up with one. They had an opportunity there. you got to come away with that because Rutgers can still convert and move the football. And like Coach Hoke was saying, he needs those big plays on defense. The negative plays and the interceptions, turnovers. There are four of four on third down conversions thus far this game. This is the longest attempt of those third down conversions. Teal back into the shotgun. Oh, and in a crowd, the ball gets tipped and very nearly intercepted. I mean, Teal looked like he was throwing out of a phone booth. Darola had got his hands on the ball. There's really only been two situations in today's game so far 
that Ball State has been able to really get back and get good pressure on Mike Teal. One was the early interception to Trey Lewis, and this was the second time. Coming up big on a third down, moving guys around, creating confusion up front, but really a great push by the very undersized Ball State defensive line. It's a 53-yard field goal attempt by Ito. He's got the strong enough leg to get there. And just sneaks it over the bar. I mean, by inches. That's 53 yards. Yeah, well. That's a great kick. And that's why you got to come up with those interceptions. Both, both, both times the ball was deflected at the line of scrimmage, had an opportunity for an interception. The deep post route had an opportunity to keep those points off the board. And Zito just lets it. See the laces? Laces out. <laughs> and there's a reason this guy is the Big East all-time leader career and field goals made that just squeaks over the bar if this is the cfl doug that you know that goal post would be in the front of the end zone. That'd be, that'd be good by 10 yards 10 yards no problem <laughs> trying to make this game harder the americans all the time just trying <laughs> to make move those goal posts but we used to run pick plays around the goal post because <laughs> they were right. on the goal line i had more touchdowns they could fall incomplete because of the goal post getting in the way in high school <laughs> i had a crucial ball fall incomplete because of a goal post that would have been intercepted in the playoff game <laughs> Thank you, left upright. <laughs> Black one. Where? Black one. Where? Black one. Oh, where? The Volkswagen Tiguan. The only compact SUV with a turbocharged engine standard. Black one. Where? There. Lease the 2010 Tiguan for just $269 a month. It's a whole new Volkswagen and a whole new game. You're stuck on a treadmill. You're making minimum payments on your credit cards and you just don't get anywhere. Let Consolidated Credit tell you the truth. When credit card companies are charging high interest, it's virtually impossible to pay off your debt. Let's say you owe $5,000 and your rate is 21%. Of your $100 minimum payment, $87 is interest. It'll take you over 33 years to pay off that debt. Call Consolidated Credit. They'll get the credit card companies to reduce or eliminate your interest. Get off the treadmill. Get on with your life. Call Consolidated Credit. They're the freedom people. Call toll free 1-800-440-5217. Consolidated credit. When credit card debt is the problem, they're the solution. Do you have an idea for an invention or a new product? Bill Schaefer, co-inventor of the Splash Wash, did. He came up with the idea while watching his children play. InventHelp submitted his idea to Whammo, makers of toys like the Frisbee and the Hula Hoop. Hi, I'm Clarence McGee, the sales director of InventHelp. To find out how we can help you try to submit your idea to companies, call for your free information. Bill Schaefer made a financial gain with his invention. Bill's experience is not typical, and most inventions are not successful. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-361-0086. For 60 yards, but his last six passes have been incomplete. Well, that's because of the pressure he's getting. He's getting a lot of guys in his face. He's using his legs a little bit to move, but it's the stunning and moving. The common thread are people stunning and looping. There, Foster coming up with the sack. Again, a pressure. Renkart coming up the middle. Renkart bats a pass in a moment here. They, they just keep getting in his face, staying in the passing lane, looping and moving, giving the offensive line fits. But his legs have been able to get him a couple of first downs and a lot of distance, so they're inside the 30 right now. Rolls out to his right again. Immediately has Rutgers players all over him. Dancing and runs right into one of his linemen before Munoz brings him down. Boy, Darius Hill was running the backside in route, and Davis saw him, but he just couldn't get in the position to set his feet to make the throw. Too much pressure. That's when he moves out to the right and looks backside. Now he's got people in his face. He can't make the throw. Here he's going to get away. It's a center, Dan Gerberry, <laughs> making the tackle. Thanks, Dan. Get out of the gun. And again, under pressure, he's going to run it. Just takes it back to the line of scrimmage. Gain of four. Well, really, right now, Ball State isn't getting anything downfield. Receivers aren't able to get open. And offensive coordinator Stan Parrish is trying to move the pocket around the field. 
so that this Rutgers pass rush just can't tee off on Nate Davis, but no matter where he's setting up, behind the line of scrimmage, on the run, play action, this Rutgers defense right now is playing with a lot of passion, a lot of excitement. They're just playing faster, and it's obvious when you watch it on the field. Two of five on third down conversions, and this one again, a full 10 yards. Davis has a man in the end zone, and there's flag toss that's going to be pass interference. Geralt was back there. Darius Hill was intended for him. Well, you got a big 6-6 target in the end zone. Lay that sucker up and let him go get it. Looks like Davis was having an opportunity to maybe run for first down, but went for the home run instead. Which just really shows nice composure by him to try to give his guy a chance to score. Pass interference, number 43 of the defense, 15 yards, first down. Well, you're likely to get those type of calls or make a play when you've got a guy that's 6'6". It's tough to defend him. It's tough as a quarterback. You know, when you've been scrambling all series long, running for your life, your eye level tends to come down. You don't see the opportunities downfield. And, Doug, you mentioned it. It looked as though on that play, Nate Davis was actually going to run for the first. He got his eyes downfield, gave his big 6'6 target a chance in the end zone, and now converts for a nice big first down inside the red zone. Clancy in the backfield behind Davis. And he's going to take the handoff and be cut down immediately. Well, you got to run the ball once in a while just for the fun of it to keep that defensive line all balanced. Try to keep somebody honest right now. I wouldn't be surprised if Nate Davis doesn't start using and mixing up the snap count right now because it looks as though Rutgers really is just teeing off. You see the numbers right now. No rushing yards in the first quarter. They got 51 in the second. The majority of that, though, has come from Nate Davis. You got to do something. You have to be two-dimensional if you're going to beat this team. We'll say it again and again. I hate to beat the dead horse, but this Rutgers defense, they're pretty good. Ball stayed over the season. 29 touchdowns and 51 trips into the red zone. Again, that calm toss inside the 10 yard line down to about the six to Dante Love. You like that nonchalant little. I just, He's just standing there giving the ball. Just That's a little flick like of the wrist. You know, this is, this is a simple little under route that he gives it to him for a five yard game, but it can be a big play with Dante Love on the other end. Yeah, Dante Love just does, does a nice job setting up Devin McCourty cornerback just gives him a little move to the outside by himself the space and give the quarterback a nice target to deliver him the football over the middle of the field completed the pass John first completion this <laughs> quarter Clancy and Edmonds both in the backfield Davis fakes a handoff now looks to the end zone has a strike down to the one but it's broken up it was intended for if it's just thrown a little underneath he put it in a safe spot, a little low and away. If could have made the play or maybe even should have made the catch. And uh, now it turns into a fourth down field goal attempt. Well, it was a nice job by Nate Davis getting through his progressions. Daniel Ift is actually his third option on this play. You see how he gets his feet set. Ball a little bit down and away, but Doug, you nailed it right on the head. That's the only place that that ball can be caught. Very tight coverage. That was actually a nice throw by Nate Davis. 24-yard attempt. Garvey bangs it through. So, Ball State has their second field goal of the game and have pulled within 11 of Rutgers. IRS problems? Associated Tax Relief can help you. What you're about to see and hear is real. Associated Tax Relief got me a settlement of $500. This company really does what they say they're going to do. We owed the IRS over $135,000. All we did was hire the right people to work for us. Associated Tax saved us $99,000. Associated Tax Relief has helped taxpayers settle their tax debt for less than what they owed. We owed the IRS over $82,000 in back taxes. Associated Tax Relief's attorney was a former IRS agent who knew what to do. His hard work settled our tax debt for only $4,600. Thousands of taxpayers across the nation have put their trust in Associated Tax Relief. I owed nearly $115,000 and needed help fast. Associated Tax settled my tax debt for way less than what I owed. They saved me over $93,000. Yes, you can solve your IRS problems, and yes, we can help you. For a free consultation, call 888-775-9482 now. 
Welcome to the city of dreams. Welcome to the club. Tomorrow's NFL stars take their place on football's biggest stage to see their dreams realized and destinies unfold. For the first time ever, ESPN's all-star crew welcomes the draft to prime time. The 2010 NFL Draft. The three-day event kicks off live from Radio City Music Hall this Thursday at 7.30 on ESPN. Presented by Coors Light. So great field position thanks to the old bounce back on the punt. See that English on that chip shot? It was perfect. Back that thing up. Hand off to Rice. Rice pushed back. Gained a couple of yards. Well, Ray Rice has really had his way today, whether it's been running to the left side, running to the right side, or right up the middle. He's getting behind those big offensive linemen, Pedro Sosa, Anthony Davis, Jeremy Zuta, clearing away for him. We've seen his patience, we've seen his vision and his cutback ability, and he seems to always get north. 16 carries so far today, 78 yards already for the tremendous, tremendous running back, Ray Rice. He sold him short. He's got 79. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take that yard away if he's going to get that 200. That's right. That's right. I'm on the line for 200. Teal with the pocket closing down. Safety valve jumps it off to Ray Rice. Rice showing that he can catch the ball as well. Eight yards on the pickup. But here's a look at the numbers for Ray Rice. Again, this is in three years, folks. First in carries first in yards first in touchdowns and second in points going into the day i mean going into the day if he were to come back next year he would only need 1700 to break ron dane's all all-time ncaa record so he's you know added what 79 yards today and then next year if he were to come back now that's you know, kevin smith might still be coming back darren mcfadden those guys could still be coming back too but you wonder if that's a conversation greg shiano will have with ray rice this offseason because you have to imagine he's going to get an opportunity to play in the national football League. there's no question he's accomplished so much already while at rutgers but he said he'd have that conversation with his head coach once this game was over get a chance to weigh out his options before going on and playing on Sunday. You know, there are a lot of issues that go into that. Family, the money. With the number of carries he had, he averages 31 carries a game. He takes a beating. And that extra year, you know, that can cut a year or two off your career at the end of the line. It's funny, you know, Greg Schiano said, certainly there are millions of dollars waiting for him at the next level. But he said, look at it on the other side. It's not so bad walking around campus of Rutgers being Ray Rice. <laughs> Just one more year. <laughs> that yeah. must be nice. Yeah, but you know what? He can be in the NFL and still do that. <laughs> Walk around the campus, Walk around of the campus of Rutgers and be Ray Rice. <laughs> you know, Ron Dane was from Berlin, New Jersey as well, right down That's the street right. from That's Rutgers. That's right. That's right. Great. New Jersey is a great fertile recruiting ground, and that's what great Shiano has done a great job of keeping these players home. You look on the roster, it's all Jersey kids, some New York kids. He's from New, New Rochelle, uh, Ray Rice is. And then, you know, a handful of the athletes out of Florida. But all of those Jersey athletes were heading to the Midwest and down to four of them. So look at Rice, look at the speed. Down to the five-yard line. He didn't get in the end zone. What's the matter? <laughs> but I mean, the hole was there, and he just burst through it 22 yards. Greg Schiano said that Ray Rice reminds him a lot of Emmett Smith. He doesn't necessarily have that game-breaking speed where when he gets in the open field he's absolutely gone but he said he's fast enough and quick enough to score points and get in the end zone and you see it doug right here on this example just hey. the vision the foot quickness you can't reach out and grab him in the upper body and expect to be bringing him down and and the ball state coaches were saying go after his legs bring him down he goes down pretty easily when you wrap up his legs he doesn't like you around his legs keep going after i don't you got to get close enough, first of all, to go after You do, and easier said than done. Try grabbing that guy around the waist and around the legs. His because his thighs are huge. huge. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. Eighth Beautiful. straight game over 100 yards. He's got 105. That's a school record. He broke his own record. That was his second seven-game consecutive 100-yard rushing streak. Now at eight games, holds another. That's his 10th school record. <laughs> That's pretty good. Nice career. And he still has another year left if he wants it. 
Well, that record is, it's, that's a pretty tempting record to go. It really right is. There. And it's definitely within reach. You add the numbers from today going into next year, it's a legitimate season that he could get there. Well, he's the only running back in Big East history to run for more than 1,500 yards in consecutive seasons. There's no reason to think he couldn't do it again next year. Rice pounds his way down inside the two-yard line. And when Ricky Williams set that record, he only held it for a year before Ron Dane broke it. <laughs> it was such a big deal, and then Ron Dane came back and just busted it. Oh, just quick cutback by Rice into the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. You know, it all starts up front. You got the three seniors in Sosa, Blazik, and Zuda, and Davis at right guard. Shoot, he's a freshman that's going to be a stud for four years. It just... It's, it's not fair. It's not fair, Keith. And just great, great running backs just seem to, to have a way. When they get near the goal line, he's got that great body lean. He's falling forward. He's always getting north. He's never losing yards. Getting north while moving laterally as well. <laughs> that's you right. know, that's, that's right. how we got to Toronto. <laughs> But this whole program has started with this recruiting class, these seniors up front, Ray Rice in the backfield, Mike Keel at quarterback. They've got this great run going, and this is the class, this senior class is the class that has gotten them to the bowl games. Well, they get great push up front blocking, and it's just Ray Rice in the backfield, the counter step. You see him just the way he's able to fall forward. It's a zone blocking scheme. He's able to cut off the backside of the offensive line, and John, you mentioned it, just falling forward while still moving laterally. It's pretty impressive. Again, there you see the vision, his ability to stay low, sneak into the end zone. And the Rutgers marching band serenades the Rogers Center. And in the long history of this ball, no one has rushed for more yards than Ray Rice. 110 yards rushing in this ball. In one and a half years. In this ball's history. <laughs> in, in six quarters six of football. Quarters. Not quite six quarters of football. Just hey, think, you guys have called the every record international bowl ever. ever. We have. We've been there for everyone. Every minute. Every minute. Tenured. But this is going to be here to stay, I think, John. This is a good bowl. It's growing. You know, it's growing. It's getting nice crowds. Teams are willing to travel up here to Canada. It's a great city to come and visit. One of the great cities in the world. It really is. Cosmopolitan, outstanding, and a football town, too. Yes. They love their football. Go Don't Argos. Attest to that. A little squib. Picked up by Dante Love. Out of a pack. There's showing the speed again. Finally hauled down just shy of the 50-yard line. 33 yards on the carry. Devin Smart with the tackle. The Rutgers Bowl history, well, there's not a lot to it, really. 78, the Garden State Bowl. 2005, Insight Bowl. And the 2006, Texas Bowl. As a matter of fact, their last three bowl games played indoors. Because the one in Phoenix was indoors, of course, a retractable dome. The one in Texas was in Houston, retractable dome. And now here with a retractable dome. And the quarterback wears gloves because they're indoors. It's not cold. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Ball State's going to need to get some offense going here. Nice cut around after the catch, trying to gain some extra yards as Dante Love gets out of bounds with 22 seconds remaining. Score a touchdown with 40 seconds left in the half. The kickoff return sets up Ball State with an opportunity to be aggressive and go after and try to score points. Again, sitting in the pocket, nice patience. He did have time to throw the ball. This is what this offense is built to do, is get the ball downfield. So you're right, Doug. Do you give this team the ball at midfield? They don't need a lot of time to score. You're absolutely right. We talk about the quick strike offense of Rutgers. Ball State is just as susceptible to scoring points quickly as well. If Nate Davis gets time, time that's to, the key. Time to throw the ball. Just give him a chance. Ball State also has two timeouts remaining. Shotgun again. Davis. Oh, pass very, very nearly caught. Lewis Johnson went right through his hands. Courtney Green was there on the coverage. 
Well, Johnson's a long, lanky type body, too, that goes up. He makes a lot of these acrobatic catches, diving, laying out for the ball. Just misses on this one, just a touch out in front. And they're taking risks right now, trying to get the football downfield. That's one of those throws as a quarterback, Doug. You let that ball go. You know what probably is going to happen. You see Courtner Green, the safety, bearing down. It's like, get down, get, get down, down, get down. Get down. <laughs> Catch it and get down. Davis again. Try and get Ball State into the end zone for the first time. Rolls out to his left. He's going to eat up a lot of time and get sacked by George Johnson. Fifth sack today for Rutgers. And Ball State's going to have to call a timeout. Ball State was trying to set up a screen pass there, and Westerman just read it perfectly, grabbed the tailback, wouldn't allow him out in the route, so Davis was forced to just hang on the ball and run around the edge. Well, he had to hold on to it because his offensive linemen were already 15 to 20 yards downfield, so he really had no choice. The only place he was going to go was out of bounds on the ground with that football. Well, there you go. That tells a lot of the story to the day. It just shows the mismatch up front. Five sacks for Rutgers, none for Ball State. They can't get near Teal, and Ball State can't run the ball either. It's those homemade blitzes you were talking about earlier, Doug, from Greg Schiano. He blitzes you, and he repeat blitzes you. He brings them from all over the yard. He does repeat. He, re he ran the same exact stunt at least twice in a row. It looked like three times. If it works once, he's not afraid to go back to it again. Until you prove to him that you can block it, you're going to see a boatload of it the rest of the game. Two games this year, then Rutgers defense has had 10 sacks, so they're halfway there now with a half of football to play. Davis has his man, Love. Gets him down to the 15-yard line, 16 yards on the pickup. And the final timeout will be called by Ball State as they'll settle for a field goal. You know, and, and, and a field goal, it's good. And, and you got to get points out of these drives. But you got to consider that Rutgers is just moving the ball with the ease that they are. You got to start scoring touchdowns. And it's easier said than done with only 40 seconds in the half. Well, on that one, you saw it initially, a, a nice pocket being formed for the quarterback, Davis. So it was, it was a situation where Rutgers was sitting back a little bit, last play of the half in their mind defensively. Let's not give up a touchdown. And all of a sudden, you don't put any pressure on him. Nate Davis stands there, delivers a strike, gets him in field goal range or comfortable field goal range. But he, nothing's a given is basically what you're saying, right? <laughs> With kickers. I know, <laughs> I, know how, I know how you guys feel. Sometimes teams make the kicker have his own locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Doug and I were never part of those teams. No. Okay. McGarvey. The 32-yard attempt. Kick is up, and it's good. And we'll keep the kicker for another day. <laughs> <laughs> so McGarvey, three of three for all nine points for Coach Hope. Just tell me right now, like first impression, would you marry me? There's so many different things about me that I do not like. Let's talk about something fun. How about magic? <laughs> Peanuts, I like cashews. Any site can get you to a first date. But with eHarmony, those dates can be better. You get to choose from people matched with you based on deep compatibility. And that means something more meaningful from the first date onward. So try eHarmony.com today and review all your compatible matches free. This is where legends are born, where legends are born, and they're born. One of the most impressive performances in NBA Finals history. The NBA second season. This is where teams are made and make history. Where 16 wins separate the great from the immortal. The teams are made and make history. This, 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 this. The NBA playoffs on ESPN continue Friday with a trio of crucial game threes. If your mortgage interest rate is higher than 4.99%, right now is a great time to call Quicken Loans. 
At Quicken Loans, we're obsessed with finding a better way for you to get a home loan. Right now, we've got great offers like this. The rate on a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage is near 4.99%, APR 5.187%. Many experts, including economists with the federal government, believe that these historically low rates will continue to rise. And that means the time to lock in at today's low rates is now. The good news is that it's not too late to refinance with Quicken Loans. Take advantage of a historically low rate of around 4.99%, APR 5.187%, and pay less each month on a new 30-year fixed-rate mortgage. We can help you make the most of today's opportunities. And that's why I love, I love, I love being a home loan expert. the CN Tower hovering over Toronto and this is a football crazy town they love their Argonauts and they have fought for years and years to get a bowl game here in Toronto and they have done just that with the International Bowl this year Rutgers against Ball State the second annual we were talking about we hope it will be the second of many many more to come because they travel teams here but locally, the fans are going to embrace this as well. John Saunders, Doug Flutie, and Jesse Palmer. One thing that uh, they have not been able to embrace when you talk about Ball State, that's Ray Rice. Well, Ray Rice is a physical runner, and it's a physical offensive line for Rutgers that has taken control of this ball game throughout the first half. Rice is already around the 100-yard mark and just powering the football. They're protecting the quarterback as well, and it, it's big plays in the running game. Well, it's been a Ray Rice showcase all over the field offensively. He's rushed for 112 yards in this first half, and because of his success on the ground, that's given Mike Teal and the wide receivers an opportunity to make big plays down the field in the passing game, but it all starts and operates around the running game in Ray Rice. You mentioned that Ray Rice would likely get 200 yards in this game. He's well on his way to that. But the other side of the story is there's just too much pressure on the offense of Ball State. You know, Nate Davis is a great quarterback. He makes plays with his legs. He moves around, buys time. But you can't, it's hard to buy time when you get five, six-man rush and people getting in your face. Eric Foster making the sack there. Renkart getting in his face. The Rutgers is bringing blitzes from every direction, outside, inside, pressure on the quarterback. And he's made plays with his leg. He's gotten out of the pocket and run for some first downs. There's a reason that Rutgers has the second-ranked pass defense in all of college football. And when you'd hear that, you'd say, oh, well, their secondary is able to cover guys. The reason they're so effective is because they can get that pressure on the quarterback and force opposing quarterbacks into making bad decisions. Ito will kick off. As Rutgers actually won the toss in the first half and elected to take the ball, and they went right down and scored, so good decision. Dante Love fields it at his five, across the 20, and quickly Rutgers is there to shut things down at about the 23-yard line. Let's check in with Stacy. Well, John, I just caught up with Ball State head coach Brady Hoke, and I asked him about his offense. How do you guys find the end zone? And you guys just talked about this. He says we have to protect the quarterback better. He's running for a life just a little more than I'd like right now. He wants to convert some passes. And Doug and Jesse, you can appreciate this. Those receivers have to catch those balls. He said we've had some missed opportunities with catches. Defensively, guys, he's very pleased. He said we're being aggressive, but he reminded his players do not give up the big play. Nope, give up the big play, but they could sure use a big play. Nate Davis here has some time. Toss, it might be an interference flag on that. The tackle was made before the pass was even there. Courtney Green on a coverage getting called for pass interference. The pass intended for Darius Hill. When your quarterback has people in his face all day and he moves around and makes some plays and you get an opportunity to make the play, come down with the football, Stacy was mentioning the drop passes. If you've got an opportunity, you've got to make some plays if you're Ball State. Well, I like the play call coming right out of the gate, trying to hit the big six foot six target downfield. Pass interference, number 36 of the defense, 15 yard penalty, first down. You know, and, and that play is very obvious. Every referee on the field, <laughs> Doug, John, we were all throwing flags <laughs> out onto the football field from up here. Just Courtney Green just draped all over the bigger Darius Hill, trying to get a corner out. I like the play call, get aggressive, get downfield right away. You see Courtney Green just smothering the big tight end down the field. Well, last time I checked, you couldn't tackle the guy before he got the ball. 
It's not hockey, John. <laughs> Can't do that in hockey either. Not allowed to. Not supposed to. <laughs> Uh, good Rutgers very very quick to cut down Dante Love. Now the last game of the regular season for Rutgers they went up against Louisville. Oh, boy. They were dominating in the first half. It looked ridiculous. It looked like Louisville didn't want to play. Just before half Louisville went down and scored in a quick drive like a one play burst 17 second drive whatever it was. Second half Louisville came out and dominated. They got Cardinals on their helmets. Yeah. Good point. The common denominator. That's Doug. what I it love is. Point. They were up 18 points in the third quarter of that football game. Lost. You're right. Ball State only down two possessions. Davis. Toss is good. That's going to be good for a first down. Grant hauls it in. Medeiros Grant. And it's amazing to consider in that first half of football, you'd watch this and say, well, this game has been completely one-sided. Rutgers has had their way offensively and defensively. Ball State, though, only down two possessions. You see here again, getting outside on the play action, moving the pocket around, finding his second tight end, Medeiros Grant. He's a big target himself, 6'5", 228. These guys got some nice targets on this Ball State offense, don't they, Doug? Tall receivers, you gotta love them. He He's never covered. Well, we have an opportunity to make the it's a play. Good attitude. Everybody's open. Everybody. For handoff. He's not open. Underneath the Clancy. <laughs> no. And he makes it back to the line of scrimmage. They have had no success running the football. Their best running plays today so far has come from Nate Davis, just creating himself. And they found ways to get Dante Love involved as well on reverse type plays and running him out of the backfield. But they got to get something. Just more structural, just with the running back in the backfield, just at least impose a little bit of their will on this Rutgers defense. Second and ten is Ball State has been used to working on long distances on second and third down. Rolling out to his right. Davis all oh, gets absolutely blown up by Malice. So yes. you want to be a quarterback, huh? <laughs> man, oh, man. And it starts with Eric Foster getting pressure. He's been causing havoc the entire game in the backfield. He forces Nate Davis to just step up a little bit. And right there at the last second, Kevin Malice right in his, bam, <laughs> right in the grill. One more time. You want to get hit again? Ah. But he does a great job of getting rid of the football. Becomes an incomplete pass. Keep you in down and distance. A costly incompletion <laughs> if you're Nate Davis. Yeah, one thing Ball State has done so far this half is, and an old coach of mine used to call it, multiple launch points. Change the launch point of where the quarterback is, whether he's, he's out of the pocket, in the pocket, moving around, the play action, the bootlegs. Don't let the defense know where he is. They're trying to review this to figure out whether or not this is a fumble. His hand clearly looks like it's going forward, but they, they have him backed up. They initial they must have initially ruled this a fumble and marking the ball down on the 36 yard line. That's why the ball is there. We're looking for a flag. We're looking for something right. to try to or figure is out it, why or, the ball's all the way down there. Or is it intentional ground? That was the other thing, but I didn't see a but flag. But the ball went for forward. That. Right. But they're I mean they're marking the ball 10 to 15 yards upfield. I there's no out. way you can rule this a fumble if they review it. No, there's no way. Hand was easily moving forward. And as far as intentional grounding, when you're getting hit and the ball's coming out, it's it's such a judgment of did that hit affect where the ball went. Yeah. In other words, he may be set in the pocket and trying to launch one up the field. He gets hit in the back, and the ball goes three yards off to the right. Since there was no receiver around, should that be intentional grounding? No. Of course you're going to say that. I'm talking to myself now. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, like I said, again, I'm, I'm up here with two quarterbacks. That's right. And, and these guys, you know, they shouldn't be able the to touch the quarterback. The quarterback's never wrong. The quarterback's never wrong. Nate yeah. Davis did the right thing. Catch the ball, play. will you? Catch the ball. They never intentionally ground the ball. The sacks are always caused by no, the No, it's not intentional. Line. You're trying to get away with it. <laughs> But if it was intentional, I just, then it would be obvious. I'll tell you what, though, Rutgers defensively kind of picking up where they left off in the end of that first half with the continued pressure. Hey. 
After review, the ruling on the field is changed to incomplete pass, third down. Yeah, I think there's a little, little well, question about no, this. No, it's definitely an incomplete pass. The only question would have been intentional grounding because he was still within the tackle box area, even though he right. moved around. He stepped up in it, but he was still between them. Tell you what, right now, true freshman left guard for Ball State, Michael Switzer, has his hands full with first-team All-Big East, Eric Foster. Eric Foster is eating his lunch all game long. Really, really having his way. Not the same lunch we had. No, no. It's not the same <laughs> lunch we just had. That's right. Ball State again, just three of eight on third down conversions. And then they need the full 10 yards again here. Davis sends two guys out to the left. Lofts it long and deep. And possibly picked off unless they wave him out. Courtney Green was there. Boy, Green was playing the half field there, saw the ball thrown, lined it up the whole way, just ran out of real estate. He knew he had this interception lined up from the get-go. Courtney Green just shows a lot of range playing the free safety position, and this ball is just laid out down the left sideline. And all of a sudden, from out of your screen Green. comes Courtney yes. Green. I think he actually mistimed it. He could have gotten there a little sooner and kept his feet in bounds. He was trying to judge it. Well, his picks are hard to come by. He's only thrown six Nate Davis hats all year long. Robinson back there, fields it at his five. There's a flag down. Heavily a block in the back. We haven't had a, we haven't had a lot of flags no. in this game. Been a pretty clean game as far as that's concerned. I tried to throw we'll one early. On, we'll work on that. You, you had me throwing one early in the game. <laughs> <laughs> in the game, but that's all right. We're just more lenient up here in Canada. <laughs> it's a lenient <laughs> system here. That is very let things deep. go. Let them play. We're used to watching hockey anyways. Exactly. Yeah, this is only the fourth penalty of the whole game. The Leafs are playing the Flyers tonight, just down the road at the Air Canada Center. Uh, my, the team I grew up rooting, unfortunately, is terrible now. During the kick, illegal block in the back, number 47 of the receiving teams. The penalty will be from the spot of the foul. First down. It's like Renkart was trying to push Lewis past the returner during the punt. Got him in the back. Just down the goal line, trying to get a little room, and Rice pounces it out across the three for about a two-yard pickup. How big would it be? Just get a three and out here for Ball State, get themselves on the oh. positive side of the field to give themselves an opportunity to get back in this ball game. They haven't had great field position in the game, but they also have not been able to convert because they haven't been able to run the ball at all. So Rutgers is just sitting back, waiting on the pass, and then putting the pressure on Davis. Teal again with the handoff. You know, it's incredible to consider that the job that Greg Schiano has done with the program at Rutgers. When you consider that in the first 131 years of this program, they go to one bowl game, and in the seven years he's been there, this is now their third, and it's the third in the row. And you look at those numbers from last season, the winning records, but 11-2 last year. Really setting the bar and the standards higher at yeah. Rutgers right now. And it's a place today where the kids want to go play there. It's become a mega, a mega program in the Northeast. Aside from Boston College, of course. Of course. <laughs> Third down and short. Hand off to Rice. Rice bumps it on the outside. And now it's just a foot race. Rice powered as well. Wow. Should have been pushed out and then finally caught oh. from behind, but not before he crosses the goal line for a touchdown. 90 yards. On you, the run. You thought it was a foot race. The, the foot race didn't matter. That, that was one of the best stiff arms I've seen out Eddie in the open. Eddie Burke. Eddie Burke had him 
not only on speed, but also on angle. Upper body. He went for the upper body. Go for the legs, wrap those legs up, and hope you can hang on. And I'm not 100% sure Rice actually got into the end zone. Well, they, they're going to kick it. Make sure it's too late. Doug. Too late. All right, he's officially in the end zone, Bath. My, my, my. And as predicted by Doug Flutie, <laughs> Ray Rice over 200 yards on the game. What a run. He's third of the game. IRS problems? Associated Tax Relief can help you. What you're about to see and hear is real. Associated Tax Relief got me a settlement of $500. This company really does what they say they're going to do. We owed the IRS over $135,000. All we did was hire the right people to work for us. Associated Tax saved us $99,000. Associated Tax Relief has helped taxpayers settle their tax debt for less than what they owed. We owed the IRS over $82,000 in back taxes. Associated Tax Relief's attorney was a former IRS agent who knew what to do. His his hard work settled our tax debt for only $4,600. Thousands of taxpayers across the nation have put their trust in Associated Tax Relief. I owed nearly $115,000 and needed help fast. Associated Tax settled my tax debt for way less than what I owed. They saved me over $93,000. Yes, you can solve your IRS problems, and yes, we can help you. For a free consultation, call 888-775-9482 now. Attention all homeowners, do you want help today? Are you having difficulty making your mortgage payments? Do you have an adjustable rate set to adjust to a new rate? Do you want to lower your mortgage payments to an amount you can afford? If you answered yes to any of these questions, call the Loan Modification Help Hotline now. We may be able to cut your mortgage payment in half and help to reduce your interest payment to as low as 1%. Find out what we can do for you today. The call is free. The consultation is free. We were so worried about losing our home. Loan modification helped us to avoid foreclosure. Glad I made the call. Homeowners, do not struggle another minute. Call the Loan Modification Help Hotline toll-free. Discover how much we can reduce your mortgage payment. Act now. We may be able to cut your mortgage payment in half and help to reduce your interest payment to as low as 1%. Call now for a free consultation. Call 1-800-230-3658. On this last touchdown run, Chris Rodanik gets a great block, and then their right guard, Anthony Davis, gets a great pull and allows Ray Rice a clear path through. Great job of execution up front. As you see, Anthony Davis just swallow the linebacker and allow Ray Rice to get into the second level. Show the speed to the outside, and then what a stiff arm on Eddie Moore. Stick him in the chest. Now he starts breaking up. Now he's like, I just want to get that goal line. I want to get to that goal line. I still think his knee was down before he was in the end zone. Well, you give the man the touchdown. Oh, come on. The longest play from scrimmage for Rutgers this year. Look, the boy's mama called the boy Ray. I'm going to call the boy Ray. Exactly. Ray ran, boy. <laughs> and he's over 200 yards for the game. Ito's kick back to Dante Love. Love season opening briefly, but again swallowed up just over the 20-yard line. Let's go back and take another look at Ray Rice. Underwood gets a great block on the play as well. The receiver pushing B.J. Hill down inside, and Rice bouncing outside. It's all three blocks. Everybody had their assignment. Everybody made a great block, and that's why you break long runs. Teams that generally run the football well have receivers that get downfield and take care of their blocks in the second and third levels. And you just mentioned it right there. Tyco and Underwood really block two players by just using his body and shielding and allowing Ray Rice a clear path to the left sideline. Great job by Rutgers. You see those are bowl records overall for Rutgers and they don't have a lot to choose from but just the same Ray Rice continues to add to his records Dante Love gets it across the 30 this is Stacy he grew up in New Rochelle the toughness of this guy really Immeasurable, John. Uh, he grows up in New Rochelle. His father is killed when he's six years old in New York by a drive-by. He's raised by his mother and sitting down with him, guys. He's just the most humble soul. And I got to add this little nugget here since I'm a basketball player. He busted a rim Duncan when he was 16, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that immediately makes him a good athlete. Well, flags everywhere thrown there. 
And that was Ray's mother you see in the crowd. Now, I, I, what I love about, not only is she wearing her son's jersey with Rutgers on the back, but on the front it says Ray's mom. <laughs> she's not shy? <laughs> a little camera time. She wants everybody to know. And now she's doing commercials. <laughs> <laughs> she's got the big block R for Rutgers. Uh, she's their best advertisement right now in this game. Pass interference, number 26 of the defense, 15 yards, first down. Now, before Ray Rice, the most famous people from New Rochelle, New Rochelle were Rob and Laura Petrie. Absolutely. The Dick Van Dyke show. But they, you know, I, 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 just, <laughs> I, I, I don't know about that marriage. They had separate beds. I, I, you know. Hey, it was the 60s. Okay. <laughs> it was the 60s. It's not like, it's not like what our partner here, Jesse Palmer, grew up watching. <laughs> I wasn't around then, guys. <laughs> uh, Davis has to get it going. Rolls out now to his left. And a little calm toss to Darius Hill. One of the best offensive plays we've seen thus far for Ball State. Again, changing la launch points, moving out. But watch Dante Love trying to come through here underneath, sneaking through. And he, and he just gets manhandled, ripped to the ground by Crawford. That's a 31-year-old sophomore, Brandon Crawford, just ripping him down and not allowing him to go out in the route. 31-year-old sophomore. He's got two more years. Davis again. This one is just a, a little long. Looks like a little chicken fighting going down the side down there that, that slowed Love down. Yeah, McCourty was there, staying with him. Second down. And again, they need seven. They haven't had any problems getting the field goals. Davis steps up. Now he's got plenty of room to run down to the 10 before he steps out. You wanted to step out earlier, did you? No. I just wanted them to run a little faster. I'm like, let's get through that window and get through there and go. Yeah. Who needs a running game? Let your quarterback do it. Doug's is getting excited up here. As soon as he had that open grass right in front of him, he was gone. You see Jamal Westerman gets a push. He's only able to get one arm on Nate Davis, and he's out the gate. It's that elusive speed getting outside, getting north. He's really been the running game today for Ball State. We talked about the fact they need to get that established. They haven't had a prayer handing the football off. It's been all Nate Davis himself. Nine carries for 40 yards for Davis. Might not be a bad game plan. Tosses it down to the one and just inside for a touchdown is Dante Love. Great route by Love. Went down, broke it off, good separation. Find, get her done. Just find a way to get it done. Nate Davis ran for first down, throwing a football now, does whatever it takes. This is a good throw, too. You know, it's a great matchup getting Dante Love matched up outside on Billy Anderson. He's able to just run a, a deep square out route, man-to-man -man coverage. He gets a nice throw put out in front by Nate Davis. A really a tic-tac-toe touchdown. That was nice. Davis 13 of 27 for 152 yards. McGarvey knocks it through. And just like that, Ball State with a little life. Only down 15 now. Touchdown, two-point conversion. Hey, they're right back at it. Black one. Square. Black one. Square. Black one. Oh, where? The Volkswagen Tiguan. The only compact SUV with a turbocharged engine standard. Black one. Square. There. Lease the 2010 Tiguan for just $269 a month. It's a whole new Volkswagen and a whole new game. Do you have an idea for an invention or a new product? Bill Schaefer, co-inventor of the Splash Wash, did. He came up with the idea while watching his children play. Invent helped submitted his idea to Whammo, makers of toys like the Frisbee and the Hula Hoop. Hi, I'm Clarence McGee, the sales director of Invent Help. To find out how we can help you try to submit your idea to companies, call for your free information.
Bill Schaefer made a financial gain with his invention. Bill's experience is not typical, and most inventions are not successful. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-361-0086. What's wrong? Oh, Eddie, we've got to come up with some money or we'll lose the ranch. Mom, don't you get structured settlement payments every month? I do, son, but the amount I get just isn't enough. We need a lump sum of cash to pay it off. We need cash now, girl. Go get help. If you get structured settlement or annuity payments and need cash now, all you have to do is call J.G. Wentworth. We'll pay you a lump sum of cash for your long-term payments. We've helped thousands. We'll help you, too. Get cash for your settlement or annuity payments. Call J.G. Wentworth. What is it, girl? Mom, she's back. I'm gonna get the money now. It's your money. Use it when you need it. Call 866-454-5987. Rutgers leading Ball State 31 to 16, and when you play football, you want protection. When you're a broadcaster, you want protection as well. So we brought the former heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis up to the booth with us. Now, we can talk about the heavyweight career for a moment, but my proudest moment, everybody knows you as a British fighter, but you won the gold medal for Canada in the Olympics. Yes, I boxed for two Olympics for Canada, 84 and 88, where I beat Riddick Bowe from America and uh, knocked him out and then he was afraid to box me in professionals <laughs> after that. <laughs> so I, I didn't blame him. What do you think uh, about this football game? What brings you to a uh, uh, college football game? This is all about family today, man, because uh, we came up here to visit uh, my mother for the Christmas and my son loves football. He's definitely going to be a football player. So uh, he's out with me and uh, he's having fun with uh, my friends, uh, kids, and it's all about family day today. If he has your type of size, he could definitely be a tight end for sure right now, sitting in the box with him. See, when, when football players get hit, they got a helmet on. Yeah, but there's that uppercut, you know. <laughs> I've got an arsenal field of punches I can throw at any given moment, and now uppercut go. really comes in handy in football. Well, with the way the heavyweight division is now, any th thoughts of a comeback? Oh, no. You know, there's, there's been talks of a comeback, uh, but uh, no, I, you know, it's time for the young guys to take over and I've accomplished all I've accomplished in, in heavyweight boxing. Time to excel and do other things. If you look back on your career, what is the one fight you'll remember the most? Um, oh, I would say Haseem Rockman. Uh, Tyson, uh, there's been many fights and uh, you know I look back at them and even when I, I see them on TV I, I remember the training and all the aspects that were involved in that particular fight. Any little guys get in the ring with you and just run around and try to avoid you? <laughs> there's, been, there's, been, there's been guys that have held me for the whole fight and, uh, hard, and some guys that are difficult to hit so you know I've had them all. I'm guessing that would be your strategy. That would be <laughs> There's no hitting in the knees in, in boxing. Uh, well, congratulations on a tremendous career, and thanks for joining us here. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thanks for having me. Bless. Have, everybody have a bless here. Thank you. Teal's toss is pulled in. As Teal continues to move the football. It was nice to have the former champion. He's a big guy. Made a lot of Canadians very proud. Exactly. That 88 gold medal fight against Riddick Bowe, that's one of the all-time proud moments in terms of Canadian boxing. Yeah, I was Canadian that day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and when Ben Johnson and when Donovan Bailey won their 100 meters, respectively. Well, not Ben Johnson. That's right. Well, that one didn't well for really a day. Yeah, for a day. It was a good day for us for a day. <laughs> Teal's got him down now at the 45-yard line, still marching Rutgers on a first and 10 right now. Rice gets it. Robinson, rather, this time. They mix it up. Yeah, it's Robinson this time, but it had been Ray Rice a couple previous. They've been averaging probably close to 10 yards a, a carry in this drive. Uh, the big play there was a play action just before, but again, they just get the edge. And they just found a way to get the right bodies up front. Right now in this offensive line, you mentioned it earlier, Doug, they feature three seniors. They have a lot of chemistry together. And even though they insert a 17-year-old right guard earlier this season in Anthony Davis, he's now got his legs with this offensive line. They work so well as a unit, and it shows. When you watch Ray Rice, 
running through these lanes, no matter what point on the field he is, it just shows a very cohesive offensive line unit. Teal fakes the handoff this time, then comes quickly right back across the middle. Brick gets it before he's hauled down just short of the 25. Teal having a very, very efficient game. And again, as Jesse talked about, this is a guy who was banged up most of the year, his hand, but from week three to 10, Greg Shiano was telling us, he could barely practice at all. It's, it, it's amazing statistically, a guy, he's still with the hand injury, he was only to practice once a week for many of the games this year, still threw for over 2,800 yards coming into the day, today's game, 17 touchdowns, 12 picks, that's outstanding for a guy that has an injury to his throwing hand like that, guys. His yardage is number two for a single season in Rutgers history. Ray Rice again bounces his way through a very tiny hole. Stacy with more on quarterback Mike Teal. Well, guys, one of the reasons that Teal has been able to sustain the injury and play through it is just because he's a consummate leader. If you talk to Greg Schiano, Greg Schiano tells one story all the time. I've had them a couple times this year already, and he, he basically says every day after practice, when the coaches grab a plate of food and they head to watch film, to watch tape of practice, to watch the next opponent, Teal is right there with him. He grabs a plate with him, and he heads and he watches tape. He's, I guess, a coach in the making, guys, but he's certainly a leader in every dimension. You know, he, oh, Shiano also said to us uh, a while back this year that it's nice when the leader just appears, and that, <laughs> there goes Ray Rice again. It's amazing. Mike Teal just, you want your quarterback to be a leader, and you always push that, and you try to coach it up and tell him what, you didn't need that with Teal. It just happened on its own, and he took the leadership role with this team. Well, here's Ray Rice again getting on the outside. They're able to get the edge. Zuta getting a nice hinge block on the outside. Taekwon Underwood doing his work in the secondary. Another clear path, another explosive play from Ray Rice. This guy has been on fire today. School record 259 yards were in the third quarter, folks. He might break that I single season rushing short. record today, bro. <laughs> he keeps going the way he's going. In for the touchdown. Who's in for the touchdown? <laughs> you want to say it? Mr. Ray Rice. <laughs> His fourth touchdown of the game. And if, in fact, this is Ray Rice's final college football game, he's going out with a bang. And you know well, one more year they're <laughs> chanting down there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they had Anthony Davis at fullback. The right guard moved back to the fullback position to lead that play up in the goal line. That's a nice little idea, uh, having a 350-pound fullback. <laughs> <laughs> one more year, one more year. Four more years. Oh, no, it's different. <laughs> Well, as Ito knocks it through, it may be different. I may be in my pajamas right now, but I'm not going to bed. I'm going to college online to get a degree. Education Connection will connect you to the right online college for free. And log on now and Education Connection will send you their free success kit stuffed with information on online schools, scholarships, even degrees that take the least amount of time. This is a hundred dollar value and it's yours free. Log on to myschoolnow.com. That's myschoolnow.com. Yes, it is. Sean it's White with a three-peat. For everything. Texas goes to Pasadena. Parsons to three. That's a man. He is flying toward third. Now three will mean even more to sports. Are you drowning in debt? Are you thinking of consolidating your bills with a debt settlement company because you think it's better than filing bankruptcy? Think again. I'm here to set the record straight so you can make the right choice for you and your family. First of all, 75% of all debt consolidation plans fail. They negatively affect your credit score. They don't stop creditor harassment, and their fees are usually three times that of a bankruptcy attorney. In fact, with debt consolidation, you'll never meet the debt counselor face to face. But bankruptcy is different. Over 95% of all Chapter 7 clients end up debt-free. 
Plus, most people can improve their credit scores over time. And finally, an experienced attorney will sit down with you in a free consultation to work out a solution that's fair and flexible. There's no dispute. These are the facts. And as the largest bankruptcy firm in the country, we have the experience to get you out of debt once and for all. Now is the time to change your financial future. Go online or call 1-800-596-7108. I want to get you guys' thoughts on Hawaii's performance in the BCS game. There's all the questions as to whether or not Hawaii was a team that belonged there despite being undefeated. And then Georgia just put an absolute hurting on them. Love trying to cut it back. Shows his speed again. Down to the 40-yard line. Nice job of following the blockers. There was just a wall of offensive linemen out in front of Love on the on the wide receiver screen. Well set up, well designed. You know, they find ways to get him the ball, you know, on the swing pass. It, it just put playmakers out in space and just let them create. And here's Dante Love doing what he does best. He averages almost 200 yards a game in total offense, seventh best in the nation. And here they go again the other way. And they, they call his number an awful lot. I'd argue he's carried the football as much almost as Ray Rice has on the other side. Just about. Well, they've handed it off to him on wide receiver reverse. They've handed it to him out of the backfield as a running back. Yep. They've thrown wide receiver screens. They've run swing screens out of the backfield and thrown to him down the field. He just hasn't kicked a field goal. In and kickoff return and punt return. He's everywhere. What did you think of Hawaii's performance and, and I, whether or not they belong in the BCF? I was having trouble buying into Hawaii early in the year because they struggled with some teams they should have put away. But then at the end of the year, they won me over. I was on the bandwagon. I thought they were ready to go into a BCS Bowl and compete. And it was, it was disappointing. And we're off underneath the Clancy. Oh, the ball's off the field. Now they're going to say he's down. Clancy was down, so no fumble. You know, going back to Hawaii, I would argue, like Doug said, those last two games they played against Boise State and Washington, there may not have been a hotter quarterback in college football than Colt Brennan in those games. Ten touchdown passes. All season long, Ryan Grice, Mullen, Devon Best, Jason Rivers, these guys are running wide open against that competition, but when they faced a bigger, stronger, and much faster defense than they've seen in that Georgia defense in the, in, in the Sugar Bowl, I just think it showed. But I, I honestly thought those receivers, Best, Rivers, I mean, they made some acrobatic catches throughout the year. They looked talented, fast, caught the ball well, and, of course, Brennan throwing the ball. And it got to a point where you said, hey, they, they can, just like kind of going into this game with Ball State, you thought, you know, with him throwing a football. Five yards, remain first down. They're going to put some points on the board. I, I had a, you know, I didn't think they would stop Georgia offensively. I, I thought their defense wouldn't be able to handle Georgia. But offensively, I thought they would put some points on the board. It's just a school like Missouri is looking on the outside of the VCS saying, oh. hey. I think that's something well, we that learned. That was frustrating. I think that's something we learned, no question. After watching a blowout Rose Bowl game and a blowout Sugar Bowl game and then watching the way Missouri handled Arkansas in that Cotton Bowl, they really, on the outside looking in, they should have been playing for a BCS game. No question about it. Pass right down the middle of Love. Everybody's open. He sticks it in or tight Hill, windows. <laughs> that was Hill. Darius Hill. You know, Hill just has inside position. He puts the ball inside of Hill. Free safety is just waiting to make the hit, and Hill hangs on. Just boy, that's a laser, huh? Put just that. fitting that post right between both safeties. You're right. Small window. You need perfect timing. And Darius Hill doing a nice job using his body and his big frame to Geralt secure that the, ball. The big hit by Geralt. And he's down. Getting back to Missouri. I mean, Missouri and Kansas. How do you beat a team in what is the showdown at the end of the year? to go to the conference championship game. And I don't want to take anything away from Kansas. They're a good football, they're a great football team. But how do you beat the team to go to the championship game of your, your conference and then get penalized by losing the championship game and, and not getting into a BCS game? Well, and they beat Illinois the first game of the season who went to the Rose Bowl. Right. So you've beaten two teams that go play in BCS games and you're not invited. <laughs> and you win your division over one of the teams that's playing. And Lloyd Carr, of course, goes out with a victory. And Rich Rodriguez was probably the happiest. <laughs> yeah, we were sitting there saying, Rich is smiling, seeing this exhibition. And I get this talent next year. Of course, his former quarterback, Pat White, had a big day. But 
West Virginia did not. Ron Geralt, another one of those New Yorkers. He missed the start of the season because of ankle problems, but he has been the anchor since coming back. You know, he's a leader in that secondary, though. He's a guy that lines people up, makes the calls in the back end, and uh, been a big part of this football team. The quarterback of the defense, and that's one of the things Greg Schiano told us in terms of this season, not, not winning as many games as expected, but a lot of those things out of control. You lose your quarterback on offense with a thumb injury who's got to play through pain, and your quarterback on defense goes down as well. That makes for a tough season. Another one of those seniors that have built this program. Davis. Fade route. Oh, almost was pulled in by Hill, but quickly stripped out by McCourty. McCourty made a nice little play there. I mean, you're talking a 6'6 receiver going up for the ball. Actually, didn't get it at its highest point. He didn't really get up off his feet and reach up for this. We saw Nate Davis yesterday on the field throwing these balls after practice, just trying to get some of the timing and rhythm down. And he gives his big receiver a chance to bring that football in, but Jason McCoy does a nice job just breaking it up. You're right. Had that got it. He went and got it at its highest point. He might have been able to secure that touchdown grab. Second and goal. Rolls out to his right. Oh, there's room to run. Oh, he had all kinds of room to run, and he throws it into triple coverage. The game is so easy from up here, Jesse, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. It just, I'll tell you what. Just run the ball in the end zone, but... You know, he thinks he can stick it in there, and uh, everybody's open. But we want to talk about open. Take a look at the green grass. Get moving, make a move on the guy at the goal line, and, oh, goal line and dive in. I'd say that was probably the only time today he should have run and didn't. We've been giving him so much credit for keeping his eyes downfield and trying to make plays. And you're right, Doug, it's easy up here. Oh, now up I know here. why the coaches were always yelling oh, absolutely. at absolutely. <laughs> yeah, the coaches, you Couldn't stay you up there. Couldn't you guys see it? <laughs> How could you not see that guy? <laughs> Third and goal. Davis moves around in the pocket. Now sees an opening and just lofts it to the back of the end zone. And touchdown is called to Darius Hill. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. again. That's three. <laughs> he threw the fade to him a little earlier, got that knocked down, threw it into the crowd in the back of the end zone to him, got that knocked down. Third time's a charm. It's just great improvisation by Nate Davis, never quitting, keeping the play alive, lengthening the play. You see Darius Hill all the way from the right side of the field. He wants the ball, he wants the ball, he wants the ball. Just working that baseline in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. Took him a moment to secure that ball. He didn't catch it clean. The Rutgers fans, fans all of a sudden wanting a challenge. When they saw the replay. Oh, make it a game, it counts, leave it. Better snap the ball. Knocks it through and good. Davis, 21 of 42 for 260 yards and two touchdowns as he starts putting up some numbers. But they've got to find a way to slow that guy down to have any shot, but they're backed in it. If you're taking eight extra strength Tylenol a day on the days that you have arthritis pain, you could end up taking four times the number of pills compared to Aleve. Choose Aleve and you could start taking fewer pills. Just two leave have the strength to relieve arthritis pain all day. Niagara Falls, the ultimate torture test for a deck. The ultimate protection, Thompson's Water Seal. Chosen to protect the most water-drenched decks in America. The decks at Niagara Falls, Thompson's Water Seal. The most powerful protection against water damage, guaranteed. IRS problems? Associated Tax Relief can help you. What you're about to see and hear is real. Associated Tax Relief got me a settlement of $500. This company really does what they say they're going to do. We owed the IRS over $135,000. All we did was hire the right people to work for us. Associated Tax saved us $99,000. Associated Tax Relief has helped taxpayers settle their tax debt for less than what they owed. We owed the IRS over $82,000 in back taxes. Associated Tax Relief's attorney was a former IRS agent who knew what to do. His hard work settled our tax debt for only $4,600. Thousands of taxpayers across the nation have put their trust in Associated Tax Relief. 
I owed nearly $115,000 and needed help fast. Associated Tax settled my tax debt for way less than what I owed. They saved me over $93,000. Yes, you can solve your IRS problems, and yes, we can help you. For a free consultation, call 888-775-9482 now. Well, it's the middle of the winter, and you grab your skates, you head downtown to Nathan Phillips Square, which is right in front of City Hall of Toronto, and that's me seven. pushing the chair to keep my balance. <laughs> You don't see anybody there who can't skate. You, you, you're not allowed to actually get your your official citizenship until you pass a skating contest in oh. Canada. If that were true, Jesse, though, you, you might not be a That's citizen. That's right. I was going to say, I, was, I didn't want to say anything. I'm sitting over here kind of quiet because I thought I might have to give back my passport. That's why I'll be in limbo. Stacy and I played street hockey. Oh. Leafs are playing tonight. There's an old Leafs Daryl Sittler jersey, it looks like. Jake Hogue. Uh, oh. An attempt at an onside kick. <laughs> Recover the ball! Doug Flutie's, Doug, Doug like Flutie's diving on the ground here he, in the box, trying to recover the ball. Well, he's also doing it because he said, while well, we were in break, Doug says, hey, you may as well go for an onside kick. You got as much chance of getting that as stopping Rutgers. <laughs> so they kick it. First of all, it's a slow rolling kick that he missed, right? Right. And it took forever to get 10 yards. Barely. They got three guys around it, and none of them get in a position to recover it. And they, now you're they, just you're just quickening the inevitable by giving well, Rutgers the ball well, to 40. The, the other side of my argument about letting them or going for the Outside, onside kick is number 81 of the kicking team. Rutgers retains possession of the ball. We will penalize ball stake five yards from the end of the kick. <laughs> Make matters worse. They had a guy offside. <laughs> well, that makes me feel a little better because if they did recover, it wouldn't count. But watch the kick. The kick is slower than it should be. He misses it a little bit. He wanted to get there a little quicker. So now it takes forever, and they have to wait for the ball to go 10. Now they're looking at it, waiting for it. Come on. All you got to do is get to the line. But no one's in position to recover it. And the other side of the argument of doing the onside kick was that, okay, now Rutgers can score quicker. We got more time <laughs> to score three touchdowns better. again. Exactly. So Ray Rice will get a chance here to add on to his record performance today. <laughs> Already more yards than anybody in Rutgers history. But Teal's going to go to the job. air. Right off the top. Oh, what a picture. Perfect pass. And Taekwon Underwood hauls it in. 35-yard touchdown pass from Mike Teal. Stick in the dagger and twist it. Sudden change situations, and the best coaches know how to go right after your heart. On the turnaround of possession, the first play from scrimmage, everybody in the stadium thought we'd be seeing Ray Rice carry that football. Was not really that wide open. A great throw by Teal. Underwood goes up, catches the ball at its highest point, makes a nice play on the ball, body position, and everything else. And so Ito will have a chance to add to his school record point total. But Those see, now you got more time to come back. You let him score in one play. like a blast of hydration to your face. New Chic Hydro, a water-activated gel that hydrates your skin as you shave and lasts up to twice as long as ordinary strips, while five blades with skin guards smooth the skin to reduce irritation. It's the best shave for your skin. The New Chic Hydro, free your skin. I'm Robert Shapiro. Over a million people have discovered how easy it is to use LegalZoom for important legal documents. So start your business. Protect your family. Launch your dreams. At LegalZoom.com, we put the law on your side. With these, on Wednesdays, I could do some laundry or get Pizza Hut's wings. I'm thinking wings. Don't miss Pizza Hut's 50 Cent Wing Wednesdays. Every wing is 50 cents each every Wednesday. That's every flavor. Only on Wednesdays and only at your Pizza Hut. National Debt Report. If you have any type of debt, call now for a free debt report. Are you knee-deep in debt? Do you have 10000 or more in unsecured debt? There are laws in place which may allow us to lower your debt up to 
I was in debt up to here. I made one easy phone call and they cut my monthly payments in half. I'm finally debt free. Credit card bills, medical bills, repos, any type of unsecured debt. This is your opportunity to be debt free. Take back control of your life. Become completely debt free in months. They set me up with an affordable payment plan. So instead of paying $700 per month, I now only pay $250. They made it so easy. There are laws in place which may allow us to lower your debt up to 70%. Call now. We can lower your payments today. This opportunity will not last. If you have any type of debt, call now for a free debt report. Call 1-800-231-2076. That's the call. That's the cheer for the Toronto Argonauts of the Canadian Football League. And you can look at some of the great all-time Argos. Oh, Dick Shadow. Dick Shadow. One of my favorites when I was growing up. Pinball was up there, too. And Rice trying to bust it outside, get a few more yards. May have got it just across the line of scrimmage. It's kind of interesting what we were talking about at the break. We we're, were wondering, is Ray Rice going to stay in this football game? Here they are. They're up 22 points right now. Does he stay in the game? Does he try to get the record? I think the general consensus was, if he's coming back next year, he's staying in the game to get the record. If we see him for one carry and he's out of the game, the guy's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that, coach he was, that, that talk he was going to have with Coach Ciano just may have just happened. It may have just happened. <laughs> On the sideline. That's right. Here comes the power. Just get that power, bounce it outside. Here it comes. Play action. Toss. Morales takes it, gets it across midfield. But those yards don't count. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the same setup. You put the back, the fullback in a strong position towards the tight end. You motion a receiver to potentially block the force player to, out of the secondary, and you run that power off tackle. And off that same look, you go play action, hit the fullback in the flat. Everybody on defense expecting hard run right there. Lineman pulling. Mike Till does a nice job with his eyes and the play fake, finding his wide open fullback in the flat. Morales. Nice job execution by Mike Till. But boring. Give the ball to Rice. Let's <laughs> That's go. right. We want a record. <laughs> Again, Teal's going to pass, and again, he's going to go deep. And Teal again hooks up with Kenny Britt, and that was a picture-perfect 47. Greg Schiano might be telling Ray Rice to come <laughs> back next year. He's not going to let him get the record. <laughs> Drop that one in the bucket. 55, 60 yards in the air. Dropped it right over the top. Beautiful throw by Teal. Just laid it out there and let Britt go get it. Well, Kenny Britt has had seven touchdowns this season of over 25 yards, and this is the reason why. Just because he's six foot four doesn't mean he's necessarily slow. Runs right by Trey Lewis and a beautiful throw, like you said, down the chimney. Did you see the last few strides where he pulled away from the DB to accelerate and go after the football? Ran it down. Teal now with. 16 of 25 for 303 yards. Not a bad day, eh? Way to go, Mike. Is that day spelled D-A-Y or D-E-H? You, -E you got it. <laughs> Black one. Where? Black one. Where? Black one. Volkswagen Tiguan, the only compact SUV with a turbocharged engine standard. Blackwood, where? There. Lease the 2010 Tiguan for just $269 a month. It's a whole new Volkswagen and a whole new game. Ball in my hand, all I gotta do is just raise up and shoot. That's my focus. All I gotta do is shoot the shot the same way. You just want to maintain focus. You have to execute every night. 48 minutes. All I gotta do is focus. Everything you do feels like the right thing. Feels like the right move. That's my focus. The NBA playoffs on ESPN continue Friday with a trio of crucial game threes. And Posada down swing. Yeah. Georgie, it's for you. Hello? Didn't 
Didn't I tell you to stop chasing that high stuff? Dad? And open up your stands. They're jamming you inside. You gotta love DirecTV. Georgie's dad never misses a pitch all the way from Florida. And he gets the most games in HD. Follow your favorite team no matter where you live with MLB X Trainings on DirecTV. Hello? Dad? Change the way you feel about moving with one call to DirecTV. Then experience our award-winning customer satisfaction, including free professional installation at your new home, a free DVR or HD receiver upgrade. Plus, ask about getting 21 of the best movie channels free for three months. It all adds up to over $200 in additional savings. The Five Star Movers Connection. Compliments of DirecTV. Say love. He rushes through and ball goes on the ground. Dante Love has hand, had his hand in the ball, I think, more than anybody but the quarterbacks. You got to wrap up his all purpose yards for today. It's been amazing. Isn't it? First of all, a lot of that is a tribute to the fact that Rucky's scoring a lot of points and keeps kicking off to him. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Rutgers 592 total yards, 289 in the ground, 303 through the air. Jeez, they, they can't be more balanced than that. 293, 303, yeah, get that even. Got to get that rushing stat over 300. He's just calling the plays over there. I don't know. It's a quarterback. He wants to throw the ball too much. <laughs> He's audible out. Yeah, those are run plays in the huddle. He's changing them. Let's see who they're giving the ball to. Rolling on the field. Ball State recovered the ball. First down. Boy, Rutgers fans are. They want more. Tough. They want Rutgers... more. They're hungry. They want more rice. I wonder if they know what's at stake right now. I wonder if they know what Ray Rice needs. They know that he's closing in on 300, I bet. So whether or not they know about the records, they certainly know that uh, the 300 mark is well within his reach. Of course, his defense has got to come up with a stop here for him. I don't know sometimes how referees can figure out no. who's got the ball. They, in those don't, they, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they just make it up. And again, underneath the Clancy, that play has been there in the second half. It was nowhere in the first half. And Clancy's the guy that's been in the backfield all year long for pass protection purposes, an occasional carry. He's an assignment guy, knows his stuff. You know, you're not a lot of flash and flare there. You're not. He came into a game late this season. It's Toledo, ran for over 100 yards in, in the second half of that game when Frank Edmonds went down early. He's a guy who's been having to spell Edmonds a lot this season, but he's done a nice job, particularly here late in the game. Well, and Clancy was a defensive player last year. He made the switch over, and he gets the handoff again. It's almost the opposite, because B.J. Hill was a running back right. for two That's years, and now he's playing corner as a starter. Well, they needed to open a new can of running back, so he had so many injuries. <laughs> Rice may be done for the day. Depends on this drive, probably. If it gets down inside of two minutes i don't think they'll put ray rice back in the game wall state can move the chains davis quickly across the middle and the ball is dropped darius hill had it hit his mitts but couldn't hang on to it Tried to stick that into another little tight window there, but he's not afraid to make any throw. How's this? Total yards. I mean, 400. You got 400 yards. You put 23 points on the board. You think you're in the game. <laughs> you're getting pasted. Almost 600 yards total for Rutgers. Mm. Outstanding. <laughs> and it's dead even balance. 300-300, basically. How about that? I don't think I've ever heard of that. It's either one or the other. They got to finish off those last seven yards rushing to get over 300. <laughs> again, Clancy takes it. And again, Clancy has an opening. The big guy showing some speed.
down to the 25 yard line. Give a little education here on this zone blitz for you there, Jess. <laughs> That's right. That's it was right. a Sam Strong safety coming off the strong side, bringing it from over there. And that way the defensive end has to rotate down. It becomes a 2C, which is two deep coverage with the corner playing deep half and the defensive end covering the flat. Once okay, you got again, that? Once again, I, got, I was taking notes okay. right there. Again, okay. you can get gas. Blitz zone, strong safety, Sam, 2C. I'm sorry, what'd you say? I wasn't, yeah, right. I wasn't listening. <laughs> Sounds like a John Madden football <laughs> play from the, from the... Oh, nice catch. Great throw and catch as Dante Love hauls it in over his shoulder. You get it down to about the one-yard line. Yeah, you know, give Nate Davis, Dante Love, and the rest of the leaders on this Ball State offense credit for fighting to the very last play. Just fitting a seam ball in, that is the only place Dante Love can catch that football that right before getting collided with. Great throw and a great catch. Great release coming off the line of scrimmage. Quick sidestep, slipped under. Before he caught that, he had over... Well, oh, there you go, all-purpose yards. He's over 300 now. Lancey was in the backfield, but wide open is Darius Hill. It's like Rutgers took the, the playoff. Playoff? <laughs> playoff? <laughs> All I know is we get another onside kick. Playoffs? <laughs> So you score 30 points and you're not in the ball game. I'll tell you what, and Nate Davis now in the last three games has thrown eight touchdowns and no interceptions. He's done such a nice job taking care of the football. He's headsy. Coach Stan Parrish says, throws a lot of touchdowns, but he doesn't throw balls to the other team. He and takes it, very good care of the football. It's amazing because he's such a gunslinger. He's firing it down the field, sticking it in tight windows. Well, there's the 30th point. 52 to 30 is the lead. Well, you're going to see another onside kick. You got now believe. they know it's coming, though, John. Now you got to <laughs> make a good kick. That's just what, what they they'll be expecting, expecting us to do. Mrs. Rice has made it to the sidelines. She she wants to have that conversation with Coach Chiano right now. Too. Let's go, Coach. <laughs> Coach. My son needs the money, coach. I need the money. Coach, let's talk. You got the hands team on the field now for Rutgers. Kenny Britt and Tyquan Underwood. And McCourty pulls it in. And Devin McCourty, that is. Did a nice job of fielding that. Got it on his fingertips. I thought that ball was going to be loose for a second. Ray Rice is coming in. Here comes Ray. It might go deep. Maybe his mother has the stats. And she told went down the coach. field to coach <laughs> Shiano. Look, coach, that's... What, that, what is that? It's th three rings. Now I will have another one. Three big rings. Ray Rice is out. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. He's putting him in to pull him out. Yeah. Yeah, 12 men in the huddle. Yep. And there's the flag for that. Most rushing yards in a game in the bowl was five yards remains first down. 307 and Rice will finish the day with 280 yards. And again, the only question is, is it just finishing the day or finishing his career at Rutgers? Well, there'll be a lot of discussion about that, but for now. What an outstanding game for Ray Rice to finish off this season for his football club. There's his bull rings that are hanging around his mother's neck. And you can add yet another. Robinson in the backfield now will run out the final couple of minutes. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Well, Ray Rice doesn't have to come back to be number one in a lot of categories. But if he does, He's going to walk off as the best ever if he is not already. And as if he hasn't done enough. <laughs> he doesn't get tired. I'm telling you, John, the guy does not get tired. And he's doing it by himself. Where's the help? Usually there's, there's two, Now, a lot two, of three. times guys are sloppy with this, and they hit the coach <laughs> with the bucket. That was a very clean A very dunking. clean pour, a Canadian pour. <laughs> there you go. Robinson again. Busts it, this one for just three yards.
Nice guy. So many times you see the guys getting sloppy. They can't handle the bucket. It's too heavy. Now, Ray Rice has his up over his head and dump. You like how the assistant Perfect. coaches all get out of the way also. They know it's coming. They're not going to sell away, the player out. Alarm <laughs> the head coach. But just let it happen. Well done. And Rice trying to pump up the Rutgers crowd. There's a lot of red in this building. And this will be the final play. That's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He gets his mom with the Gatorade bath. <laughs> He's in trouble when he gets home, folks. There's plenty for everybody. <laughs> Well, all the best to Ray, and I hope he makes the right decision for him and what's best for himself and his family. I'd love, you know, for selfish reasons, I'd love to see him back playing you, for, for Rutgers again next year. And he is the Capital One player of the game. Almost 300 yards in four touchdowns. Third most yards in NCAA Bowl history. And Rutgers completes... An eight and five season, which by the standards of 11 and two, they may have thought was a disappointment. But Greg Chiano came in here and said his team would be focused. They would not come in here as a team that was disappointed and not perform. They've done a great job with the senior class, getting them where they are. Because of the talent on this team, they redshirted 15 freshmen this year. They're still going to be strong next year and moving forward. He's got a great, great program going. Let's check in with Stacy Dales, who's with Ray Rice. Well, he's the star of our game. Four touchdowns, Ray, a 91-yard touchdown run. And your mother over here, a very proud <laughs> mother. Ray, what was your mindset coming into this game? I really just wanted to do it for the seniors. You know, I got emotional before the game just thinking about what these seniors have done for me, my offensive line, and how the coaching staff has just put me in, in great situations, you know, and then now I have a chance to decide on my future. Your mother, Janet, beside you. Mom, can I get a comment on your son, please? <laughs> I'm just so happy for his season and just what has happened just now. No other words can explain how I feel. Understandable. Ray, you talked about the future of the NFL. What's the probability of you leaving and staying? Uh, I'm going to sit down the next few days with my coach and decide on what's best for me and my family. And uh, I made it happen pretty quick, so, you know, um, so everybody be aware, you know, that, that's where my status remains. All right, congratulations to you and your team on the bowl game. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stacy, thanks a lot. Rutgers comes to Toronto and wins the second international bowl, the final score of 52 to 30 over Ball State. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Doug Flutie, Jesse Palmer, Stacey Dales, and the rest of our ESPN HD crew, I'm John Saunders, so long from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Just tell me right now, like first impression, would you marry me? There's so many different things about me that I do not like. Let's talk about something fun. How about magic? <laughs> Peanuts, I like cashews. Any site can get you to a first date. But with eHarmony, those dates can be better. You get to choose from people matched with you based on deep compatibility. And that means something more meaningful from the first date onward. So try eHarmony.com today and review all your compatible matches free. Attention drivers, has your manufacturer's warranty expired or is it about to expire? How will you pay the hundreds, even thousands of dollars needed to get your car back on the road? Quick Cash 123 is here to help you with your financial needs. If your vehicle is less than 15 years old and has less than 200,000 miles on it, then we may still be able to offer you repair protection. Call now and we will connect you with one of our preferred extended protection providers. You choose the coverage and we'll tailor a plan to fit your budget. There's no obligation. Call 800-402-7117 now. I'm not going to bed right now. I'm going to college. Thousands of people go to college in their pajamas every day. How is this possible? Because you can go to college online without leaving your home. Using your computer to get an online degree is really smart and easy. In fact, people with a degree on average earn a million dollars more in their lifetime. So how do you find a good online school? Well, get your computer and go online right now. Education Connection is a free service that connects hundreds of people each day to the best online colleges. And you don't want to pick the wrong online school. 
So, ladies, slip on your cute little fluffy slippers, and guys, cover up, please. And log on now, and Education Connection will send you their free success kit stuffed with information on online schools, scholarships, even degrees that take the least amount of time. This is a $100 value, and it's yours, free. Log on to myschoolnow.com. That's myschoolnow.com. Myschoolnow.com. ESPN.com, your source for complete draft coverage. Get in-depth analysis on each pick and your team's future. Follow the draft on ESPN.com. Well, we're ready for Bedlam. That means a football game between the Cowboys and Sooners on a perfect day weather-wise. Here is Todd Harris from the field. All right, Keith. Well, he is the greatest of all time. Heisman Trophy winner in 88 and one of the only Oklahoma State backs ever to put more than 200 yards on Oklahoma. Barry Sanders, first of all, welcome back to Stillwater. Handicap these two tailbacks for me. What do you see? Well, you got two great backs. There's a lot of excitement about both of them. Um, both of them can make the big play. And, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm hoping we're going to see a lot of carries from both of them today. You have a Heisman Trophy vote. Do you have a problem giving it to a freshman? Uh, no. No, 